I'm making a video to refute the notion that the Epic camera in the Discover satellite at the Lagrange 1 point uh, is showing the Earth at some sort of wrong scale or wrong size with its 0.62 field of view. So I've, in my animation, my Hollywood professional animation package, I've created a simulation of the, the relevant part of the solar system. I've created uh, an, a sphere to represent the Earth, and I've called it Earth, and you can see it is 6,371 kilometers in size in this virtual synth synthetic world that I've created. And then I've created a, a virtual moon. And let's uh, look at the size of what we called the moon. 1,737 kilometers. I've also created two what are called tape measures for this world. One distance of the moon to the earth. And you can see here that's 38,400 kilometers from the earth to the moon. I've created another tape measure, and that's the distance of the Lagrange point, And that's 1.5 million kilometers. And at the end of the Lagrange point, I have this recreated just for graphics sake and to, to be fun. I've recreated a simple, simple version of the Epic satellite. And then I've uh, placed a camera at the Epic satellite, looking back at the Earth. And uh, let's look at the parameters for that camera now. 0.62 degree field of view, as, as specified in the... Uh, okay. And then of course the other camera, which I placed on the moon, has the 60 millimeter focal length that the Hasselblad camera had while they were on the moon. So we're now going to look through the camera. This is what it sees. Uh, and this is a, I rendered it out as a 2048 by 2048 render and I'll show that at the end of this video as a, as a full render. But as you can see, with the Earth in scale and the Moon in scale and the correct distance from the Moon to the Earth and the correct distance from the camera or satellite to the Earth, uh, this is how big it shows it. It is 0.62 field of view. And now, let's take a look at the camera from the point of view of the moon. And that's where it gets kind of interesting. Sure enough, it does seem like the Earth should look a bit bigger. The Earth should look a bit bigger from the moon. How interesting that is. And we've got our camera two, and select our camera. And then we've got our 60 millimeter the Hasselblads that they took out on the moon's surface had 60 millimeter lenses uh, applied. Very strange. So the moon definitely looks right. The has from the uh, the Epic satellite. The moon relative to the size of the uh, the Earth, it all looks right. It seems to feel like they're telling us the truth about that. But then. giant earth, earth rise over the moon. When I recreate the size of the earth, the distance of the earth and the moon, the size of the moon, and the Hasselblad camera parameters of the focal length, I get an earth this size. It's not what we saw with Apollo, is it? Stay tuned for the final render of the CGI version of the reverse side of the moon. And even make note that I even put the features of the reverse side of the moon where they actually go. It's probably going to make conspiracy people go nuts and say, yeah, see, the whole thing was CGI to begin with. We live on a CGI planet.
that may be true. <laughs> Kinda. See ya. Until next time.